Thank you, live. I've now to New South Wales. They're announcing a $1 million reward for the information of the abduction of Cheryl Grimmer. Investigations into the disappearance of Cheryl have taken place. And today, on the 50th anniversary of Cheryl's disappearance, um, I can announce that the New South Wales Government uh, is increasing the reward uh, to $1 million. The information will lead to the arrest and conviction of those responsible for Cheryl's disappearance. Um, and that $1 million is the maximum uh, reward that can be taken. The Homicide Squad is seeking information in relation to Cheryl's disappearance. Um, the disappearance was 50 years ago, um, and that's uh, a burden that the family has, has carried for that time. So now is the time to come forward. Now is the time uh, not to hold back. Now is the time if you've been holding a secret um, and you think you might be protecting someone or you have information that may, uh, you, you may not think it is uh, important, please come forward. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's important to the family, it's important to the community. Um, you don't know what may be of interest to the investigation. It may lead to lines of inquiry. So I'll take some more questions later on, but I'd just uh, like to hand over to Ricky. Uh, Ricky Nash has got some, um, he'll represent the family. <coughs> Old age and glasses. We're, we're hoping that this million dollar reward will assist in someone coming forward to stand with us and all people that want the truth to be heard. The truth is out there, it's close, we feel it's close. Um, we know the answers are in front of us. We know someone may be able to come forward and assist us. We pray for that every day. We believe somebody has the answers that can get this person, this evilness, to come out of the shadows, come forward. We need to get this into a court of law. Courage is found in many ways. Maybe this million dollar reward will assist in giving that person the courage to come forward. We stand in front of you pleading, come and collect that reward. It's yours. It's a million dollars. Find the courage. Tell us the truth. Thank you. Ask a few questions, Ricky, is that all right? Absolutely. It's 50 years, it's a, it's a long time. I mean, how has this been on, on your family? No words can explain what we've been through. No family should have to go through this. Um, we, we believe the answers are there. We believe they're right in front of us. If a million dollars assists in finding these answers, that's a great step forward. I mean, we've had so much hope for, for the last three years. We take one step forward and it's a, a mighty mile backwards. Um, we just want to keep going forward now and be positive. It's, I can't explain to you how I feel. We'd be here all day, all week. We're, we're just empty. Um, we just want some closure. No justice is ever going to be enough. This person, they've lived their life, if they're still alive. Yeah. How, how can you describe, I guess, to the public out there just not having that lack of answers for, for so long? I mean, what is that feeling? It's just emptiness. I mean, none of us should be here, but we are. Um, uh, we're, do, we're doing this walk today in remembrance of, of Cheryl and um, the city of Wollongong have been very kind to donate a park. Uh, the Lord Mayor, uh, Mr Gordon Bradbury, he's been very instrumental in stepping this forward for us um, along with council members. It's a day that I wish I wasn't here for um, and my brothers, um, Paul, I mean... We just want some answers, and we believe those answers are right in front of us. Um, but I need to hear those answers for my own sake. How much has that meant to you? Um, 
much does this million dollars mean to you? $10 million. $10 million. I mean, it's a step in the right direction, I hope. I hope it gives somebody the courage to, to come forward. Um, it shouldn't be about money, but unfortunately it is today. Um, if it does give somebody that, that courage, I mean, if we can get into a courtroom and, and, and hear what happened to Cheryl on that day. As much as I never want to hear it, but I have to hear it. So, yeah. Can you describe Cheryl's loss? Do you remember? We only had it for three short years. Um, a bit of a terror, a bit cheeky. A bit like this fellow standing beside me. Um, three years was like a blink. Unfortunately for me, I, I see her standing just inside that door in the toilet box. And I should have dragged her out that day. I didn't. I should have. I should have just dragged her out. Um, I still see her standing there. And that's the last image that's tattooed in my head. Her cheeky grin. Just telling me now I'm not coming. What was I to do? It's the ladies' toilets. I didn't want to, do, didn't want to go in. She was only three metres from me. I should have. Here, yeah. this million dollar, but I mean, what, what is it that you're hoping will come out? The truth. Bring us the truth. Although, although it's it's not going to be good, but the truth. Someone is someone is respecting Cheryl, taking her from us, taking her from her mum and dad. Give us a little bit of our life back. When you took Cheryl, you might as well, might as well have taken all of us. Because that's what you did. You destroy families. And not just Paul, Paul and I. A greater family. Our daughters. Our kids. Um, people as far as far as the UK are hurt by this. Cousins. Nephews. Aunts. There are sick, there are sick people in the world, isn't it? Hopefully, this million dollar reward will, as I, as I say, give somebody to have this person held accountable for actions on that day. Ricky, um, before it was a kind of evil, I mean, for the person that's out, that's out there that you got, you know, you want this arrest and, and finally, the, finally the closure, I mean, to describe your feelings towards that person that is potentially responsible for difficult question to answer when I'm standing in a, standing in a police station. Um, it's only evil that, evil that can do this thing. I don't know why, I don't know what anybody would, why anybody would do this. And for anybody, anybody who potentially, um, as the police mentioned, carrying a dark, dark secret, I mean, say to them. Come forward to police. Um, um, go to a police station, wherever you are in Australia, Australia, come and speak to police. No matter if you, if you think it's insignificant, because it just could lead to the next, next, next test and, and so on, you know. Somebody knows something. I mean, you can't hide a secret like this for 50 years. You've said something, the, the person that took it has said something to somebody. You cannot hide this. You cannot hide this evilness. It's there. I mean, you've just got to come forward. I mean, yeah. Can I ask you a couple of questions, sir, as well? Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you, one more question. I'm assuming you're wearing royal blue today um, because that's, is that what Cheryl was wearing? Or yeah, it's a swimsuit. Um, and 
So the walk today will go from the top of Brokers and Bowgowney Road, where we believe Cheryl was taken, uh, down to the beach where, where she was taken. So um, anybody, everybody's invited to, to join that walk and um, for the unveiling of the park um, later today. And what, what time is that? The walk uh, commences at 10 o'clock and the unveiling of the park, um, I guess when the last person gets in around about 11.30, I would guess. Thank you. Could, could I just ask a, a couple of questions of the police officers as well? Thank you, Richard. Thank you, there was an announcement by the New South Wales Police of the $1 million reward for information into the suspected kidnapping and suspected murder of three-year-old girl Cheryl Grimmer. We'll just listen in again. Look, um, the reason we're here is to get fresh information so we may be able to get some resolution for the family. You can see how impacted this is on their life um, and, and, and the greater community as well. Uh, not only here, here in Australia, but also in the UK. A um, million dollars is a lot of money, but you can't put a price on a life and you can't put a price on justice. Um, so uh, we are working as hard as we can to try and get some answers for the family and that's important to us. We wouldn't be here today asking for assistance from the public. The Homicide Squad wouldn't be here asking for information that may be able to assist us to get that fresh line of inquiry. So it's a very important day and as Ricky said it's, an, it's a positive step. How how big is this investigation now? How many officers well, do you have working on it? How long term is this? It's been going, as you know, on and off for 50 years. It's been investigated and reinvestigated. We're now at another phase. So it's been reinvestigated in terms of getting the information so we can look at what information comes forward so it gives the line of inquiry. Can you describe where the, the police investigation, I guess, at this point is at? Obviously, technology has advanced significantly in 50 mm. years. Have you guys already... Um, I guess, used all those new technologies and do you really need this information to, to crack the case? We really do need this information. This is very important. Um, uh, we're at a point now that we need fresh information to progress the investigation and progress our lines of inquiry. This is important. Um, and as Ricky said, there's people out there with information. There's people out there with a secret that they can come forward and we'll be able to act upon them. And it's important that we don't forget the family, they a burden they've been carrying for 50 years. You can see how they, they're in, impacted by it, how they're affected. Um, they've travelled to Wollongong today to mark the anniversary. It's important to them, but it's important to the police as well. And that's why we're here. How, how are the officers that have worked on this? It just must have been... Oh, well, it's pretty well documented um, um, of the, uh, the ups and downs of these inquiries. Um, but today is a positive step, I think. I think we wouldn't be here, and, and all in this room would want the same outcome, don't they? They want the answers. And you also remember, Cheryl hasn't been located. So we, the, the reward's about conviction, but we still haven't, we haven't located Cheryl. That's important too. Like we, you know, the, if it is the remains of Cheryl, then that would be very hard for the family. They would have mixed emotions. But if we got information to find out where the remains were, that's incredibly important. So that goes towards why we're also here. Don't forget that we, we don't know where she is. How frustrating is it as a That was the announcement by New South Wales Police of the $1 million reward for information to the suspected kidnapping and suspected murder of three-year-old girl Cheryl Grimmer. It has been 50 years to the day since the toddler was taken from Fairy Meadow Beach in Wollongong. That was January 12, 1970, while spending the day with her mother and three brothers. And they are saying that they are hoping for some re resolution for the family.